Well, 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 what's up, my generals? Hey, I got to apologize for the first episode. The desktop audio was so stinking noisy. Let's start with the uh, scoreboard. We are in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Place, not bad <laughs> as Bolivia. I'll give you a rundown of the coalition. Uh, Peru is getting ready to get ejected. Um, actually went inactive, and so we're kicking anyway, uh, which is going to be fantastic because I'm going to be able to run through these cities fairly fast. There's nobody in there. I'll be able to pick up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cities pretty much uncontested. Um, I have thrown Brazil's capital out and I'm going up the coastline here, hoping Argentina gets active, takes Porto Alegre. Um, but we're going to go ahead and sit home to right there. That is loud in my headphone. I'm going to turn that down just in case that's loud for you homeboys and homegirls, too. Uh, let's go ahead and move this single unit. Uh, what I like to do is, in advance, um, take the territories around the city that I'm coming for and work up my way. And there's two reasons for this. One. That is so loud in my stinking headphones, man, whenever I click a button. Um, but one, it's going to help uh, with morale, the neighboring, you know, it, uh, provinces. If they're not smoking, it helps out. So I'll show you what I mean when you click here and then you click and hover over the eye and click it. Um, you can see uh, at war with two nations, neighboring morale, right? The neighboring morale is the minus six. Uh, at war with two nations, minus four. So... Uh, but it does have a bunker, which is a plus two. So chance of insurgency with two units in Brasilia is 1%. I like those odds, right? So I just kind of take this. It, the second thing that it does is it camouflages the movements of your troops. They cannot see the stacks that are coming through the green area unless they have um, a drone up or a well, well, UAV is what they're calling it, or if they have a radar, um, a radar van. But... Even a radar band just shows a ping. The UAV will actually show the unit type. So anyway, we're going to roll down through here, and I'm just going to keep on running up because I don't want them to see what's coming. So we're going to go as far as we can. Maybe their troops here or not. That's the risk. But uh, I'm just going to set home on a course. If I lose a single unit, I lose a single unit. But anyway, we'll move them that far. Um, now we're going to take this guy, Ratcha. We're going to take four of the six units. And I'm pretty sure the Venezuela is going to come down and take that from Brazil. So let's go the southern route. And I think, let's just go ahead and connect them all here. And then I think I'm just going to go right to Belém because I imagine that there's no units there. There's not even a barracks. It probably has the same two. Starting units, which would be fantastic on there. So let's take a look at that. Blah, blah, blah. Turkey applied to the COA. Great. We're taking territory from Brazil. Got my Nawaz. Okay, great. Um, then I'm going to uh, move into the position here because tonight, when I log back in before I go to bed, I'm going to um, send out these guys all in different areas. So I'm just going to go right to the five cities and take them all because there are no units there. So we'll go from um, we'll go from uh, 11 cities to 16, and then we can start rebuilding and annex some of those maybe. I've been a little tight on resources um, because I do want to annex some of these places, right? So when you look at, like, Asuncion, it's occupied. It does supplies. Not going to move. Well, I am going to do a lot of SAMs and stuff, so having a third supply city might not be bad. So let's take a look. We can annex it. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to set it to build an army barracks. That does two things. When I come into here, it gives me this option um, so I know I've annexed the city because it'll just stay with this border if you annex it, which I don't like. It should turn to a, to a, a solid. but um, And then you should be able to see that you have something in there so what i do is i then go back through and i look and i say let's just start building the arms industries right away right now i look and i say on my map if i zoom in did i take any blocks that i can put stuff on and i did right so let's get some more local industry going here and we're going to make it a three and then fuel um which sometimes have issues with but you can always sell to your uh compadres that need supplies and i don't have anything else i've got an electronics but 
electronics are not really my holdup. But I'll be able to take this uh, as well, a component square, another fuel square. So, yeah. Now, up here is going to get a little dicey. I, I may um, just leave those units there, honestly, uh, until I get my, my rocket launcher. So, I did train the first level already because that's just going to be uh, a 50-meter attack, I believe. What is it? As rain. Oh, it's still stuck on infantry. Sorry. Uh, the attack circle is a 75 early. Oh, I did not realize that. So uh, when you look at what it's going to actually hit at, it's going to hit units at 4.5. So you get three, four of those guys together. The unit can't get to you before you hit two or three times. That's perfect, right? Because then by the time the unit gets there, it's half dead. Um, you can mix that with like three or four rocket launchers, three SAMs, and three, three units. And you can just basically make four or five stacks of that and just run through the map. Nobody really comes after you because they can't hit you in planes. Or they can't hit you in range. And so the next thing that I'll go for here is this Sam. And uh, I just got to wait on money and some rares because I'm a little bit behind, right? So uh, we are going to continue to build, though, the um, arms industries in these places. So I need 5K. Let's see if I can sell something and make 5K. I can't sell there. I don't want to sell that. I don't buy. And there's nothing else <laughs> to sell there. So... We're going to wait on the 5K, start the stands, and be able to defend uh, both ways on here. That's kind of the move for this. So uh, let's look around the board and see what else we have going on. Um, I don't see any smoking up here, or I do see some stuff. Okay, yeah, Mexico hasn't expanded. There's no border stuff going on with there. There's nobody fighting in Canada. So these look like a bunch of dead countries, honestly, to be seven days in and to not have anybody trying to invade somewhere else on a, with a 10 stack is surprising. That is, of course, unless they're sitting off my coast, which I hope not. <laughs> All right. Um, let's take a look at the top leaderboard. Um, Japan's in with us. And okay, good. Argentina and myself are there. Um, again, Peru hasn't moved. And Venezuela, I'm waiting to see what they're going to do. No messages from the coalition. So that's dangerous, right? Like, hey, will you take this? Will you move there? Will you do that? And nothing is coming across. So it looks like Japan and I are going to be the top two. So what I'll do is zoom out and I'll look at Japan too. And last time I looked, yeah, he was going to the Philippines. So he had taken North Korea out, I believe. Yep. Um, part of North Korea. But definitely South Korea already. Yeah, South Korea took Tamshan. So, yeah, South Korea moved up and then he came behind and took it perfectly. And he's building units. He's got some ships and some frigates. And units moving down here as well. So, yeah, Japan looks like to be a very, very strong ally. Glad I took Japan in on there. So the goal for me is to um, get the rest of these arms industries to five, get my resources pumping, start annexing a few places, and then I'm going to, um, at the same time, start building those stacks I talked about. Um, I'll have a big boost from taking over um, Brazil, though, because they had 10 on the map, and I started with six. Plus a couple of AI. So, yeah, 17, 18 is where I'll be uh, once we wipe them out. We'll see. Anyway, that's the update on this. I'm going to talk later about um, the insurgents and rogues once we capture a city. I'm going to go into more detail about that and what it takes to keep them from going rogue and why that's so important to not have to double back and, and take stuff. So, anyway, hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are enjoying the Bolivia series, and we'll talk.